My name is Melanie Arndt. I'm a contemporary historian. Uh, for the last eight years, I have been working at the Center for Contemporary History Potsdam and teaching at the University of Potsdam, the Humboldt University Berlin and the uh, European Humanities University Vilnius in Lithuania. My research topic at the Rachel Carson Center is the transnational disaster process of the Chernobyl nuclear accident. Actually, even today, 26 years after the disaster, not all the uh, uh, physical, biological, medical or even psychological consequences are, of the disaster are known. So we still have to deal with uh, imprecise and often contradictory data and information about it. What we do know is that the disaster was triggered by a blend test that led to an explosion at the fourth reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the night of the 26th of April 1986. So the actual extent of the disaster was actually kept a secret for three years and the Soviet social system wasn't set up to have to deal with uh, hundreds of thousands of disaster victims. So it was of course unprepared when it actually happened. Um, so the uh, former Soviet republics, they were actually dependent on international engagement, not only on the state level, but also on, on the level of, this, of civil society. So the so-called children of Chernobyl are children from the most affected regions in Belarus, the Ukraine and Russia, who traveled for several weeks or sometimes even months for recuper recuperation and or medical treatment to Germany or to other foreign countries. So if we take the whole amount of children who traveled from their home countries to foreign countries, we could say that um, approximately a million children traveled under the label of Chernobyl child to foreign countries. If we take just the German case, so over 200,000 children went to Germany since the 1990s. I pay special attention to the dynamics of the transfer processes, the motivations and expectations of both the Chernobyl children and their German parents. Both the children and their German hosts were confronted with foreignness and social and cultural differences uh, based in particular on the experiences of two wars, the Second World War and the Cold War. Um, and I try to show this complexity of these processes um, in order to demonstrate the far-reaching implications the disaster actually had on the, not only on the people directly afflicted, but also on the people who had been barely touched by either Europe or the risks of nuclear energy before the disaster. I think we know far too little about disasters and the consequences, in particular the social and political consequences of disasters. and. As we could see after Fukushima, we actually got to know how little we know about disasters and how little we still know about Chernobyl. And after Fukushima, we got to know that it is not just a um, challenge for a socialist system to deal with a nuclear disaster, but actually a nuclear disaster is a challenge for every political system.